You see, the unfortunate thing is that we all want to be great. We have all these concepts of the great writer, the great inventor, the great leader, the great poet. We want to emulate and we want to be great. We all want to be the Gandhis, we want to be the Modis, we want to be the Obamas, or we want to be the Dalai Lamas. We all have a concept of greatness and we all aspire to be great. Why do you want to be great? What's so great about greatness, so to say? We start from a position that I am not good enough. I look at my life, I look at myself in the mirror, I say I am ugly. Now I look at something that is beautiful and I want to be that. And I spend my life and I can spend the entire spectrum of my life talking to myself that I'm not good enough and that XYZ is good enough and I can spend my entire spectrum of life in trying to be that greatness and live my life in total misery sorrow, grief, because whether I get there or I not get there, I haven't dealt with the problem that I am not good enough. I'm only emulating someone who I believe is good enough and I'll spend my entire lifetime in misery in trying to be something that I'm actually not. Why can't I be at peace and contentment with who I am? Why do I have to be great? And if I understand who I am, then maybe there is a total understanding of what the reality is and I can go beyond. Whereas I don't want to understand who I am, I want to see what the other is, emulate and bring that into my life and never deal with the depth of the issue what actually was there at hand. You see, I can say that I want to be Buddha. Now what will happen? I will go and strive and learn and pick up books and knowledge and prayers and meditation and whatnot. I can do every damn thing. All I will ensure is this internal dialogue in my head that one, I'm not good enough and two, I will spend my life in suffering in a sense of acquiring knowledge and going and getting everything and even when I get there, I will live in the superiority complex of an illusion that I've arrived in life whereas I've never still dealt with an issue that I'm not good enough. Why are we not comfortable in who we are? Which means that the real understanding that we need to get is who this person is. And maybe this person is as is completely beautiful and absolutely perfect. And even if that is not the case, when I found out, when I find out who I am, that's the actual sense of reality. And now there is something to do about it or something not to do about it. And I can move from there. And I can tell you the understanding of who I am is in itself so complete and so beautiful that there may not be room to achieve or to aspire for anything else because once I understand and accept who I am, there is only space for true greatness or in other words, true love for life and that can only happen through seeing within, through seeing what this person is and that's a complete action in totality in itself. The moment I say that greatness is somewhere outside, I will be running helter-skelter all my life, get there or not get there. The contentment will not be there. And the contentment, the contentment, the true contentment will be there through a total understanding of who I am. And that in itself is total contentment because that's a complete action in itself. I hope it made sense to you. See you again.